Welcome back to Cathedral Chats. And, you know, so often we can look at these beautiful etched glass windows at the cathedral, and so many people can wonder uh, exactly what is it that those angels are holding. And on those ribbons are written, you know, the litany of Loretto, the litany of our Blessed Mother. And litanies have, you know, a long tradition in the church. They're beautiful for... Uh, you know, public prayer, you know, just that response, that back and forth. Um, you know, when we're at ordinations, one of my favorite parts is, you know, that litany of saints where, you know, the, the man about to be ordained is laying down on the ground and just invoking all those saints to, to pray for that man as he's entering into that new vocation. But also those, you know, litanies of like St. Joseph, of our Blessed Mother, of the Holy Name of Jesus, of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, of the Precious Blood. You know, they all allow us to realize that there's more to these people, more to our, our Lord, more to our Blessed Mother, more to St. Joseph, than sometimes we really understand. Um, and at different times when we're praying these, these litanies, they can help us to realize that there's a greater richness and maybe a different title, you know, speaks to us at different times of our life, and it can really help us to, to enter more into that relationship with God, our Blessed Mother, or with St. Joseph. So I just encourage you, uh, you know, to go and look at those litanies, you know, going along with last week's video of, you know, the most holy name of Jesus, maybe, you know, during this month of January, you know, praying that litany of uh, uh, the holy name of Jesus, and, you know, maybe if you have time, you know, praying the litany of Loretto after the rosary. You know, in some places it's still the tradition that, you know, after the rosary, the litany of Loretto was prayed. Um, but I'll put a link down in the description below of, you know, those different uh, litanies that we have in our church. Uh, there's more than what I'll put down there, but those are kind of the big ones that we have. Um, and just to go pray those. Maybe if you're in a family, pray them together as a family. Or even if it's just yourself, you know, take it nice and slow the first time and just you know, look at what all these different names, what all these different titles are, um, just so that you can enter into that deeper relationship with either our Lord, with our Blessed Mother, or St. Joseph. God bless.